I'm Joy. Thank you for choosing X401H from MDX. I will introduce the detailed operation of X401H in this video, so that you can enjoy the best flight and shooting experience. Right now, let's open the pet box. Pull out the inner box and check X401H and related accessories in the box. Firstly, this is the remote control, mobile phone holder, its protective frame and tripod. It is spare fan and screwdriver and it as well as a battery charging cable. This is the user manual. Please read carefully before takeoff. What you see now is the X401H body. Let's turn over the box and lose the fixed line. Now you can easily take X401H out. As you can see, it is very pretty and has a built-in camera. The above has a drone and all the accessories. There are three interfaces on each motor cabinet. Insert the frame plugs into the interfaces and fix it. Fix the protection frame by screwing clockwise. Like this, the protection frame is now installed. And it is the same to install other three protection frames. the tripod to four jacks on the bottom of the drone respectively and then insert. The head of tripods shall point to the nose direction. This is the back hole antenna of the camera and you should fix it on the antenna cover of the tripod. Connect the standby to the mobile phone fixing component. Second, set the mobile phone holder to the top of the remote control. Third, adjust the fixing component upward or downward according to the size of the mobile phone. Fourth, pull back the lock center of the standby and slowly push up the holder. The mobile phone holder would be taken down. First, turn on the drone. Second, open the battery door by screwing counterclockwise. Third, unplug the battery wire from the power wire plug of the drone and take out the battery. Fourth, connect the battery cable with the USB wire plug. Insert the USB charger into the USB interface of the computer. 6. Charging is proceeding with indicator light off. Once the battery is full charged, the light will turn red. 7. Plug the battery wire into the power wire plug of the drum and insert the battery into the battery compartment. 8. Close the battery door and fasten it by screwing clockwise. First, make sure that the battery is well installed and connected with power wire or drone. The drone is off. Second, turn on the remote controller and the power indicator light flash rapidly. Third, turn on the drone. Set the drone to flat surface. Fourth, slide the throttle control stick up to the top. Then return to the throttle control stick to the bottom. Fifth, about 4 seconds later, the flashlight will keep constant on. It means the signal connection is finished and the drone is ready for flight. 6. To ensure steady flight, we set the value of the trimmer to the midpoint. 7. 
press the 1K start key, push up the throttle stick slowly and the drone takes off. This is power switch and this is power indicator. There are 4 joystick modes for this remote control. You can long press the red button to switch. And there will be the prompt of the corresponding mode on the bottom of the LCD screen. Here we have the default mode 2 to introduce the remote control operation. The left stick. Press up, the drone fly upwards. Press down, the drone fly downward. Press left, the drone turn left. Press right, the drone turn right. The right stick. Press up, the drive fly forward. Press down, the drone fly backward. Press left, the drone fly leftward. Press right, the drone fly rightward. Four buttons next to the joystick are the corresponding fine tuning button of the joystick. Short press the, this red button, it means one key to start. When the drone flies, it means one key to land be the ground. Barometer hold altitude. When the drum is light more than 1 meter height, release the throttle stick. The drum will keep hovering at the current height. Press it once to turn on the light and press it once again to turn off the light. There are two flight modes on the drum, low speed and high speed. Keep pressing the 3D rolling button and push the forward or backward and the leftward or rightward control stick to the 80s to perform the roll action accordingly. Press some function button located at the top right of the remote control for 2 seconds. The remote control will send out two beep sound and there will be later of stick mode flashing on the LSD screen. The drone's indicator light turns from constant on to flashing. That means the drone is in headless mode. When the drone is in headless mode, flight direction proof is needed. Set the head of the drone ahead of the player. Turn both of the control stick to the lower right corner for about 2 seconds and drums indicator light will turn from slow flashing to quick flashing and flight direction proof is finished. When the operation are controlling the drone, no matter which direction the drone is heading towards, it can't always move forward in the correct direction. When the drone is flying in headless mode, press 1K return button. The drone will fly toward player. Press the 1K return button again or operate the forward or backward control stick. The drone will exit the 1K return function. MJX developed a very powerful phone APP for the drone of this series. Let's take a look at how to use it. For Android system, please visit our website www.mdxrc.com to download the software MDXH. For Apple iOS system, please go to the APP store to download the software MDXH. First, make sure that the camera C4005 is correctly mounted on the drone. Second, turn on the drone, then set the drone to the flat position. Third, enter into a setting of the mobile phone, open Wi-Fi, then search the Wi-Fi signal MDX from the Wi-Fi signal list and connect the signal. Fourth, click Control to enter into the APP control interface. Touch the APP control icon, the icon will be in red color while the mobile phone Wi-Fi is sending out connectional signal to drone. 
One Zen mobile phone's Wi-Fi signal is successfully connected with a drone. That is the one key start icon the drone will rotate in low speed. Then push up the throttle control stick icon the drone will take off. There are two modes of the NJX8 APP. Click the monitor button, real-time images showing on the screen. Click the control button, activate the mobile phone APP real-time remote control interface. Hide the interface. Touch this button to hide the menu of the interface. 180 degree roll. Touch this button to rotate the image 180 degree. 360 degree roll. Once the drone is flying in the sky, touch this button, the drone will 360 degree roll forward. H and L speed. Touch this button to enter into high and low speed choosing mode. Gravity control mode. Touch this button to enter into the operation interface. Headless mode. Touch this icon to enter into headless mode and adjust the drone. 1K return. Touch this icon while the drone is in headless mode. The drone will return with rare heading back. Light switch. Touch this button to turn on or turn off the light. Mode switches. Touch this button to switch between four control modes. Low level, middle level, throttle switch. Low level throttle is for drones without altitude hold mode plane. Medium level throttle is for drones with altitude hold mode plane. Flight road. Touch here to enter into flight plan. The left stick is the throttle control stick. The blank space of the screen is for flight road drawing. Once the road is drawable, the drone will fly according to the indication of the road. Photo. Touch here, the camera will take photo. Video. Touch here, the camera will take video. 3D. Touch here and wear the 3D VR glasses to experience the 3D effects. Play. Touch here to play the saved videos and photos. The drone's Wi-Fi signal. It indicates the strength of the Wi-Fi signal. Landing switch. While the drone is flying, touch here to gently land the drone. Start switch. Touch this icon to rotate the drone in low speed. APC control. Touch this button, the icon will be in red color while the mobile phone is sending out connectional signal. These two areas are for the joystick, which are the same as the remote control joystick. The button next to them are the corresponding fine-tuning buttons. Return. Touch here to exit the APP control interface and enter into mode choosing. Here are all features of MDX X401H. I hope this video will help you better experience the joy of flight. Thank you for watching.